Hey guys, Eliza Priddle from, from Mind Mechanics. I'm here with the online prosperity show and I'm so excited to be introducing to you the reasons your mind will be holding you back. So we're talking about fear, we're talking about amazing, working with amazing people. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited to have you. Thank you. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Eliza, the mind mechanic herself. How are you doing today, Eliza? Fantastic. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Well, thank you so much. Now, Eliza actually works um, with Tony and they are facilitators of change, all right? So they're specialists in the field of human performance with the ability to quickly and painlessly transform lives using their mind mechanics method. Now they're gonna be combining um, you know, their experience and training into a concise education and a training program that works with individuals, uh, professionals, athletes, and also sporting teams so that they can take the responsibility of their emotions, control um, their reactions and change negative programming. Now from what I hear, their programs are actually designed so that clients own their life, their performance, and fulfill their highest purpose. Now, Eliza, did I say that correctly? I think I'm going to employ you. That was fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what we do. Yes. <laughs> Great work. It, it, it pays to be prepared. You know, when you're talking to people that have um, passion about what they're doing and they really want to bring people to their highest performance, I mean, obviously, the, the one thing I could do is actually come and bring my best A game uh, in, 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 to the court. Now, now, can you just explain to me what it is that you actually do and um, why should people seek their highest purpose? So the, we're in the mindset business, but a lot of people don't understand. When, when we say mindset trainers, a lot of people just immediately think it's about just training them how to do gratitude and um, just you know, power of positive thinking and all that sort of thing. But our work is actually quite different. And the reason we call it the mind mechanics is because it's about how the brain works. And it's really important to understand that there's no simple fix for negative thought because you can think positively, but the problem with that is your patterns will repeat. You will always come back to the subconscious patterns. And you can talk yourself happy for as long as you like, but as soon as you get a trigger, you're gonna go straight back into those patterns. So what we do at The Mind Mechanics is we teach you why your patterns are there, how the brain works, how they were originally locked in, and we find them and change them at their source. So it's going back to the first time that a particular emotion was locked in with a particular event, and we shift it back there. So it's essentially looking at, you're looking at neuroplasticity, so we're changing the programming in the brain, so that when you come into that experience again later on, you won't be triggered. And a trigger is, of course, of course an emotion, a negative emotional response. So it's really about teaching people how their brain works. It's not about doing gratitude every day, although these are things that we should be doing anyway, but we get back to the source and change the brain so that it is absolutely permanent. And that's why our work is so quick. It's, uh, it's, we teach people to go into this into a particular state and reprogram their own mind. Once you learn that from us, you have that for life. And we don't you don't have to keep coming back. You don't have to repeat courses. You don't have to go to events all the time. Once you have it, you have it. And that's the big difference again in our in our course is that it's yours for life. It's once you learn this, you cannot unlearn it because you cannot use it, but you can't unlearn it. So it's really important for people to understand it's a one-off training that sets you up for the rest of your life. Understandable. So it's like just going to the gym, do a couple of sit-ups and you automatically have abs for life. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I <wish>. yeah. <laughs> right. Now with what you're uh, teaching people, it has a lot to do, like you said, okay, mindset is involved, but in order for you to know what's actually crippling you or what those negative emotions are. There's a lot of awareness that needs to be present for somebody to have certain clarity as to what is inhibiting them and who they actually are. So walk us through, you know, a, a couple of things that you help other people to make them realize complete clarity on who they exactly are. 
So the first thing is the awareness is really important, but I think people are very aware that they're miserable. They're very aware that they have negative thoughts. What they're not aware of is that they're in control of it and they actually don't need to listen to those thoughts. So that's the first part of what we do is we teach people that the thoughts aren't real. So it's a little bit like having the devil on one shoulder and God on the other. You know, you've got an angel here chatting to you quietly and you've got the devil here yelling at you. And what we teach people is that that negative voice is not who you are. And th this is the problem with most people is they attach. They say, I am angry. I am anxious. My anxiety, um, my fear. And what you need to understand is that's not who you are. That is a learned process. And if it's learned, we can unlearn it. And that's the beauty of understanding who you are. We touch on who you are, but the biggest and most important part of what you need to know about you is who you are not. And you are not those negative thoughts. You are not those negative emotions. You are something completely different, way more powerful, way more in control. So if you were to, to take people through who they are, we need to break down how we actually learn who we are. So as children, we have no conscious mind. That is, we are little sponges. We take everything in as it is and we make our own decisions in that second about what emotion we connect to that. Our brain does that all for us. So if we then go ahead and, as an adult and get into the same situation, that same trigger, that two-year-old trigger, if you like, that two-year-old emotion is set off. So what you need to understand is that is not you. You didn't come into the world with that. You learned that in one particular moment. And if we can get you to a point of understanding the truth about who you are, everything changes. And that happens in the first two hours of our program. So the mechanics of the brain is such that you are not your negative thoughts. You are not your negative emotions. And I even pushed it to the point where I will say that you are not your illness because a lot of people attach themselves to their illnesses. And if you're attached to it, you cannot get rid of it. And when we understand who you are at your source, then that is a separate thing. And we can, once we can separate from it, we can then start to connect to who we really are. And it's not a simple process. A lot of people are actually scared of who we are, because who they really are. Because when I first learned who I was, I didn't believe it. Because I just went, I'm not, I can't be that person. I am, I'm an angry, upset, aggressive, you know, powerful woman who's in control of, of my life. And I wasn't actually in control. I was just angry about everything. And when I connected to who I really was, and that was somebody who was very soft and very connected and very amazing with animals, I sort of didn't believe it because I'd spent 35 years as the other person. So it's a, it's a push for a lot of people to learn who they are, but it's a massive, massive step forward to your sole purpose. When you understand who you are and you can stay aligned with who you are, your purpose will just pop up in front of you. And it's usually something that you are very, very good at anyway, and you don't realize how, how good at it you are. You'll have people say to you, that's amazing. How do you do that with so little effort? Well, that has a lot to do with your sole purpose. But if you think you are this limited human being, then you will not get anywhere near your purpose. So that's the reason we need to understand who we are. To get aligned with our purpose, we need to understand our strengths. And our strengths are often overlaid by our weaknesses, by our fears. Great stuff. Well, Eliza, that, that is so profound. <laughs> you should have seen me just glued in there, um, <laughs> listening to you elaborate that. So. Um, Obviously, we, we live in a world of duality. There's yin, there's yang, there's black, there's white, there's right, there's wrong, and there's um, limiting, and then there's empowering. All the things that you have sort of mentioned constitute part of what is limiting beliefs and things that don't um, help you expand um, you know, into oh, fulfilling your highest purpose. Now, you've also mentioned that people are aware of their misery but they're not aware that they are in full control. How much is that actually limiting them from getting ahead either in business or in their life? What is actually at loss by them not discovering their highest purpose? Pretty well everything because those, if you don't understand that you can control your thoughts, 
then you have no idea where you can take yourself because your thoughts, your ego, what we, we, we coin our negative belief system, our ego. And a lot of people, when they think of ego, they think of somebody who's egotistical, somebody who's very, an egomaniac is somebody that's better than, you know, that's, yeah, yeah. Puffing up the chest and all that sort of thing. But in fact, we coin ego as any negative response. So ego can be the extreme of depression to the extreme of egotism and everything negative in between is controlling you. And what you don't understand is it's your choice. Now, this is where people get stuck because they'll say that I don't have a choice. No, you don't until you understand who you are. And that's why it's important that in the first two hours of our program, you learn who you are. Because until you know that, you won't understand how much power you have over your mind. You will think that those negative beliefs um, will are, are true and are real. And that's the way life is. And I'll say to people, but that's just a pattern. They say, but it's been proven to me. It's, I've seen it again and again and again. And this is the power of the mind. You see what you know. Your mind is looking for what you already know. So if you know that the world is a horrible place, then that's all your mind is going to point out. All right. We have a reticular activator system in our brain that looks for what we know. And what we, in order to grow and expand, we have to know that that's not the only way it is. So that's why we talk about being open-minded. If I say to somebody, you know, my opinion is, and they go, but I believe this, I go, cool. Let's have a look at it and see it from a, a different perspective. I will never shut another person's opinion down because I don't know what I don't know. And until I expand it, until I look at it, now it might be something that doesn't suit me because we're all different and we all have a different goal and we all have, you know, different purpose in life. So we can't all be the same. But if somebody says to me, but what about this? I will never shut it down. I will always say, cool, show me some proof or not proof, but show me some examples of where that, why that has shown up for you. Because my brain, if it doesn't know it, we'll push it away. And I need to take control of that part of my brain and say, hang on a minute, let's bring that back. Let's bring that back into my focus because my brain gets 2 million pieces of information every second and I can only focus on 37 pieces of that information. So from 2 million, I'm getting 37. What am I missing? And if I understand that, I understand I, my world can be as big as I want it to be. I can have anything I want in life. If I understand, I just have to teach my brain that something else is possible. So in answer to your question, your limiting, your limiting thoughts or the lack of control of your limiting thoughts will stop you being who you really are. And that's huge. Understandable. Well, obviously, um, from what you have mentioned, you did mention you lived 35 years in anger and, you know, the whole corporate um, you know, lifestyle and you thought what you were then was what was meant to be. But now look at all the abundance and all the time that you have right now that you possibly could have been missing out on um, had you not figured out um, what your highest purpose would have been. And so pretty, pretty excited that you got to find your purpose there. Now, Eliza, in all of these things that we're talking about, we are human. We have we are so, um, you know, society orientated and we have people that are always around us. And you've also mentioned earlier on that we are aware that we do have certain problems, but we're not sure that we have control. Does that also constitute the relationships that we have around us, the people that are our, in our immediate circle that might also be, you know, making it harder for us to escape um, and figure out who exactly we are because of the limiting beliefs that they might have on themselves. Um, so, yeah, that's a huge influence, Prosper. And the reason for it is if we understand how our vibration works. So we all vibrate at a certain frequency, and that vibration attracts like frequency. So when I'm angry, I'm going to attract angry people and then I'm going to complain about it. <laughs> so, and this is the problem. So a lot of people have struggles in their relationship with their partners or particularly family. So mums, dads, brothers, and sisters. And the reason that happens is because we are the same frequency. Now, when I say that to people, they go, no, I'm not the same as my mother. I'm, the, I'm different. And, and then when we do a session, they go, oh my goodness, I'm just my mother. <laughs> 
So understand if we, we need to grow and grow our frequency if we're going to change the people around us. Now, when I say change the people around us, there's twofold to that. My husband now, six years after we started Mindset, is a different man to who he was when I met him. All right, because yes, he's done a whole lot of mindset, but the main change has been through my perception of him. Because if I perceive him a certain way, that is all I will see. And this is again the power of the mind. So if I want my husband to do the vacuuming, I have to change my belief systems about what husbands are. Now, where did I learn my belief systems? Well, I learned them at, with mum and dad. So in my mum and dad's era, Mum was a stay-at-home mum. Dad came home from work, put his feet up. She served him dinner. She cleaned the house. She, was, she didn't have to go to work. So her job was to look after the house. That's where I learned what husbands look like and how they act. So that's what my mind projects onto my husband. So that's how he acts. So if I want to change that, I have to go back and change my belief systems about what a husband is. And I've done that over the last six years. So now my husband goes out and buys himself a vacuum cleaner so he can buy the vacuum floor. <laughs> so through no prompting of my own, <laughs> he will go out and, and mow the lawn without me asking, all right? Because I've changed my perception of what a husband is, how he responds changes. So ladies, if you want your husband to be a different husband, you have to work on your belief systems, not his. Okay, if you want your mum and dad to respond differently to you, you have to work on your beliefs about them so that they can then project a different way. That is how powerful our mind is. Now, we are only in control of our world. But remember, people respond to me because of how I project their being. Does that make sense? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense. So <clears throat> if you're watching this episode right now, you've just been given the secrets on how to domesticate all the men <laughs> in your life. And as um, Eliza and Tony, and Tony have done for themselves over the last five years, they actually want each and every person they deal with to actually discover what it feels like to be in total control of every aspect of your life by actually learning some of these most advanced tools so you can self help yourself and start projecting um you know what you want into the world like what um, elisa has been saying now somebody's probably sitting at the edge of their seat right now is a lady who's holding three vacuums and one dyson and held <laughs> vacuum chasing after their husband trying to get him to at least vacuum his <laughs> office how can they get a hold of you, Eliza, so that they can learn these um, tricks? And I will also make sure my wife doesn't get to see this video. <laughs> Trust me, Prosper, it works both ways. My husband gets everything he wants as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. We are, we are all over social media. So um, Tony is Tony Priddle Mind Mechanics. We also have the Mind Mechanics page. Uh, it's mechanics with an IX at the end. Uh, you can message me, Eliza Priddle. I am uh, more than available through Facebook. We also have tonypriddle.com, which is our website. Uh, and if anybody wants to ring me personally, just jump onto the website. Both of our phone numbers are on there. Or you can just send us an email. Now, one of the biggest things that stops people moving forward is fear. So what I want to tell people is don't be scared to have a chat because it's just a chat. I am not going to sell you into a program. I am not going to tell you what you need. The first thing we need to understand from people is where they're at and if we can help them because this program is not for everyone and we want people to understand if we can't help you, we will point you in the right direction. We will give you, point you to another coach. We will give you videos to watch. We will give you books to read. It is not all about coming into our program because as I say, it is not for everyone. So if you've got an ounce of fear that's stopping you, what we need to understand is ego is the opposite of tr the truth. So it means that you should at least send us a high email and say, look, I'm really nervous about this, but I need to know if you guys can help me because fear is what stops us moving forward. We get that. It's what stopped us moving forward. So send me a high on Facebook, you know, send me a high anywhere you like, and I will just respond with a high back. I'm not going to jump on the bandwagon and try and get you um, into a program because that's not what we are about. I will give you as much information as I possibly can before you need to even look at our program. Is that cool? 
Understandable. Well, thank you so much for, you know, opening up uh, to our audience so that, you know, they can also um, get a test of what it is that you've got to offer. Now, viewers, if you've been watching this and you literally know that our mission is to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, and it all starts with the mind. It all starts with letting go of limiting beliefs. And it all starts with you actually knowing your higher purpose and w what not a great um, idea to actually have people that are dedicated their lives to helping you find out who you exactly are so that you can discover your so soul purpose so that whatever you touch actually turns into gold and your performance would actually, um, you know, help you be, do and have a happier existence. Now, Eliza, thank you so much for your time today. I can't thank you enough for the value that you've imparted on us and also the opportunity that you've given us, um, you know, for people to actually learn from you. Um, is there any last things that you think you might, we might need to know just before we, um, we, 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 we go off our ways? I think people need to know to hang around with people like you because that will change everything. <laughs> So the job that you do sharing information is gold and it really is something that's amazing. And I appreciate so much that you give all your time to helping others. It's amazing. So guys, if there's one a bit of advice I can give you is follow people like Prosper who just give, give, give constantly. It will make you feel like you're a superstar. So thank you. I appreciate it greatly. Well, thank you. I thought this video was about you, but anyway, <laughs> thank you so much. Now, if you've been watching this, um, definitely, we're going to be having uh, people that are experts in their industry to actually help us go through all the, um, you know, hardships we might be going through in life. Most of them are just made up there all right so you really want to make sure you've got your you know your, your your true player in the right um position you've got your emotions in control you are also not reacting to negative programming that might be stopping you from having a business that's profitable and enjoyable now if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do that and we will see you on the episode uh, next episode thank you so much elisa once again thank you for having me it was awesome great stuff